All right, folks, we're gonna turn this tundra into this tundra. All right, first thing we're gonna work on is this bumper. It's been pressed in. This plastic all comes off. Got a little bit of body damage right there. Let's see if we can't get it uh, pulled out. First of all, this bumper needs to pull back. Had a number of these little clips that hold them in place. Push in, press down. Got all those out. Got the plastic down out of the way. Got it out of the way. I got some bolts here. You see the buckle right here. So anyway, I'm gonna get these bolts out. Here's one. All right, got the bumpers, bumper pieces off. I don't really see any damage to any of this here. Uh, it's pretty good solid steel. I can see a little bit better my damage here. I can just tell where it pushed in. It pushed in the hardest here. You see this dent. Uh, I can move this around. I can unfasten here. Try to see if I can't pull some of this out. Got a little bit down here. But if I'm not worried about this, if I can just get this a little better. All right, we out of the uh, muffler shop. Jimmy's. 450 bucks. Here we go, let's see. All right, so we got our 2017 Tundra in with our new fuels and red dirt road uh, tires. We got a ready lift lift kit, three in the front, two in the back. Let's do it. How heavy are those? So now we're going to take these brake, uh, brake cables loose. pulled the sway bar up still got to get a ball joint removed for that got the sway bar loose got that socket out of there i got to get the upper ball joint see if it'll come loose my way oh there you go sorry now that kind of felt like the guy in the video Man, if we can get that off, that'd be great. You don't ratchet, so. Hey, so, uh, get that one going. We'll hit him down with some uh, WD-40, too.
it like. One thing that I would advise you when you're doing this, make sure you're actually loosening instead of tightening. Works a lot better. So we got our uh, sway bar spacer in place. Come with these longer bolts. All right, we're on the driver's side. First things first, taking off this 12 millimeter that holds the brake line in place. And now this 10 millimeter one on top. You're tightening. And we're gonna pull the pin out of the upper control arm ball joint. Break it. See what it does and get, and get it out. You just pull it out. All right, so uh, we didn't show you everything, but we had a lot of problems. Problem number one, these don't fit. Yeah, so I don't know, I've never fooled with dual drilled, but these have six, uh, 12 holes all the way around, and we got a five lug truck. I'm thinking it shouldn't have that many, but in any event, we can't get it in there. And the hub area here is too small. Barely, but too small. So we gotta call the wheel shop in the morning. But the rears are on the back. Two, days. Two inch lifting block. Three inch lifting block on the front struts. It's definitely a lot higher. Uh, so we'll keep you updated. But uh, what time is it? About one o'clock? 1.30. We probably got about six hours into all this, but it's done. All right, I got the Six lug fuels loaded up. Ready to go back to uh, Car America. I'm gonna have to get me a set of these for the F-150. stock with the exception of the uh, pipes make it sound really good 